But we begin this newscast with another story about fear and lying. It's a story about a child abused both sexually and physically by multiple adults. Unfortunately, this is not a work of fiction. A local author's book has been getting a lot of attention nationwide recently, but the Lamont-born author had to endure a lifetime worth of abuse before putting one word on the page. 17's Trevor Thompson is here now with his story. Trevor. Jim, Adam Rendon greeted readers at a book signing tonight with a smile and a hug or a handshake, certainly showing no signs of a past littered with abuse. He says he has his book to thank for that and for a few other changes as well. 17 News first met Adam Rendon five months ago. His book, called The Valley, was relatively new, but since then it was featured in gift bags handed out during the Oscars. And Rendon, seen here at tonight's book signing, has been featured on CNN as a commentator on Penn State and Jerry Sandusky. The difference really is getting noticed. I mean, I've been on some big shows recently and I go out of places and people are like, I think I know you. And it's scary because I'm like, you probably do. But the tangible changes in Adam's life these past few months pale in comparison to the changes he's undergone in his outlook on life. His book details how he was sexually abused by two female neighbors when he was six and physically abused throughout his childhood by his father. It's a tell-all book, but for Adam, writing it was a cure-all. Since then, I, I've been happy. I, I haven't had a lie. Don't maybe a white lie, but I, I mean, I'm 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 full and wholesome and just I'm living my life as as I could. Those lies he had to tell, including pretending he wasn't being abused, as well as hiding the fact he was gay, are the reason the word valley is spelled to include the word lie on the cover page. Those lies are also the reason Adam finally broke down and pinned his tell-all before he broke down entirely. It was just Jenga already. It was, they were pulling that last log and they pulled it and I fell apart. I let everyone know the truth. I, I ended up telling people like, yeah, this is me. And out of that, I, I was able to come out and say like, I'm gay. We should add that Rendon's book details his own account of what happened. Neither the neighbors who abused him nor his father were ever charged. I'm Trevor Thompson, 17 News.